In this video, I'm going to make two more water-based ecospheres. One in a glass bottle and one in a glass jar. As a substrate, I'm going to use charcoal and these decorative white stones. For the bottle ecosphere, I'm going to use these plants. The first layer I added was charcoal. This helps to keep the ecosphere clean. Because of the great surface area, it has the ability to take up toxins. Next, I added the white stones to cover the charcoal, otherwise it would flow to the top. I used a funnel to make it easier. The stones also provide the foundation for the plant roots. After dividing the plant into smaller pieces that fit through the bottleneck, I added the pieces one at a time. I used a long stick to get everything in place. Then I carefully removed the spongy material from the roots of the water trumpet plant. First I tried to make a hole for the roots with the stick. It was a tight fit through the neck of the bottle, but I managed to push it through carefully. Next I used two sticks to get the plant into place. To fixate the plant I added some more stones on top of the roots. After securing the plant it was time to add water. I used regular mineral water without any chlorine. Finally, I added the water weed. I put the ecosphere aside for a moment so that the bubbles could disappear. For the second ecosphere, we used the same substrate of charcoal and stones. We added three patches of the HC plant. As a centerpiece, we placed a dark looking water plant in the middle of the jar. After making sure everything was secured, we added water, again with a funnel, to not disturb the setup too much. In this ecosphere we also added a small piece of the water weed. The result turned out to be pretty nice. This is a 10 day update, the plants still look fine and in this one there is also at least one small snail crawling around somewhere. One problem is this dirty layer floating at the top of the water. The other ecosphere has the same issue. I'm not sure what it is, so if anyone knows what this is definitely put it in the comments. Maybe I'll have to remove it manually or maybe not, but I'm going to wait for a little longer. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.